Hello everyone, my name is Noel and welcome back to the channel. Before the video starts, I just want to say that I'm sorry for not posting in two months. That's my fault and I really am sorry for that. I'll try my best to stay on a schedule from now on, but obviously I can't make any promises. What better way to get back into things though than strange YouTube channels? I'd like to say that these aren't necessarily going to be scary, at least not all of them. More of a range of weird too creepy stuff that I found recently. Alright, enough rambling. Let's check out some weird YouTube channels, shall we? Starting off with something incredibly strange, peachgarden.com, as far as I'm aware, isn't even up anymore, but I do have the links to the website and Twitch channel that they use, and, um, boy is it something. <laughs> a lot of the videos they had posted are now up on the website, and it's this guy talking about a super secret space project spouting a lot of cryptic messages that somehow come back to, like, a weird crypto coin. For example, his Twitch was actually live when I found this, and the message on the screen read, Vapor's robots have taken control of every intelligence HQ worldwide, including yours. We are just waiting for the robots to make their way back to Vapor. Kick back and enjoy the show. And both of the websites have these AI-generated women all over them for some reason, and then we get to this, like, space crypto coin. It reads, I don't panic. I need to pay my genuine taxes, so having only one go-to coin makes it easy for me. With a whole bunch of AI-generated space images with this coin that he's talking about on it. Look, I'm not smart enough to understand all of this. I don't even know if you can understand it, but I wanted to include it on here because it's definitely an interesting rabbit hole to go down if any of you are interested. Moving on to something more digestible. <laughs> We have a channel named Peter Maxwell. There's only two videos on this channel, and I'm not sure whether I'd classify them as weird or silly. Hell, maybe both. Just take a look for yourself. It definitely was weird to just find this out of nowhere, but after a second watch, it's kind of just silly. I feel like it's still worth a mention just because of the way he speaks, though. He might look silly, but he's definitely not making me feel like laughing with his voice. I was debating whether I put Superfly 5050 on here because for the most part, this channel is pretty normal. Just some guy walking around what I think is his office, showing us his strange wall of celebrity head cutouts and talking about pretty much whatever. But there's one video on the Superfly channel that stands out to me and that's what made me want to put him on here. The video titled February 22nd, 2017 is for the most part exactly what you would expect. Superfly just talking about whatever. But it takes a turn after he mentions that he got another voice message on his phone. And that voice message is not normal, let me tell you. Superfly got another message today. And after hearing all of that, his only reaction is, well, that was quite a situation there, and just completely dismisses it. Now, I'm not sure what is going on with the lady on the other end of the phone line, but the fact that Superfly is able to completely dismiss it and be unfazed is pretty impressive to say the least. This one I think is really interesting, due to the fact that I literally cannot find these videos anywhere after my initial watch of them. Luckily I still have a few of these downloaded, but not all of them. This is called the Razzle Taz, and it looked to be a series of flash game videos featuring this cute pink haired character. I don't know much about this, but it was really cool to see, and there were definitely horror aspects of this, which I'll show right now. Razzletaz.com You are attempting to leave the website. Leaving will result in 
It's pretty cool, but other than the two videos I downloaded, I don't know much about this. If I can find the videos again, I'll make sure to link them in the description or something, but for now, this is all I have. It also looked to have a playable game to go along with it, so if anyone has any information on this, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'd love to know about it. Mr. Peas and Beans is very reminiscent of I Want to Gnaw on Human Bones, albeit a little less grim with its title. All the videos on this channel are strange. One even has their so-called grandma, who is 150 years old according to Mr. Peas and Beans, though I'm confident that this is literally just them under a skeleton mask. The video I want to look at in particular though is titled May 2nd, 2021. You know, it's kind of a running theme for these channels to not name their videos at all. This is apparently the very first and only episode, I think, of the Mr. Peas and Beans show, where they wear this very unsettling mask and don't say anything at all for almost two minutes. Most of the content on here is like this and I'm not really sure how to feel about it. Definitely weird, that's for sure. Our last channel for today is actually one I'm sure most of you have heard about before. It's called Angry Neighbor, but it's spelled backwards. All the videos are just this person recording his neighbors, calling them loud, rude, and annoying. But the thing is that the neighbors aren't really all that loud at all. In fact, it just sounds like they're out on their porch talking at a reasonable volume. The person recording these videos is really weird, as the neighbors literally aren't doing anything. And I'd also like to point out how many uploads this person has on their YouTube account. They have over 7,000 videos of just recording their neighbors doing nothing. It's more of an obsession at this point than anything else, and there's no explanation for it at all. One thing I'd like to add is that their profile picture is a gun, and they haven't uploaded a video in six years. So let's hope they just stop being creepy and not anything else. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. This is a pretty short one since I'm trying to ease my way back into making videos again, but hopefully you guys were as weirded out by some of these as I was. Also, thank all of you for 8,000 subscribers. I never really got to properly say that, but it means a lot. Anyways though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good rest of your day, and see you later.